Again and again, mankind asks itself the question whether there is intelligent extraterrestrial life or whether we are really on our own. The fact is, astronomers regularly perceive radio signals that seem to come from distant star systems. The radio telescopes used for this purpose are so sensitive that they could pick up even extremely weak radio signals. Puzzling videos and photos of seemingly unknown flying objects also appear over and over. But how many of them are really real, and how many are manufactured? The same question arises for crop circles, which have already been sighted in many places around the world. In many cases, however, fraudsters revealed themselves, people who just wanted to draw attention to themselves. By contrast, U.S. Navy fighter jets filmed three flying objects between 2004 and 2015 that they could not classify. There are about 1,000 star systems where aliens, according to the assumption that they really exist, could observe us from afar, according to the latest research results. These 1,000 star systems are in direct line of sight to our planet and close enough to us that they could detect not only planet Earth, but also chemical traces of terrestrial life. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and get ready for many more fascinating videos in the future. Exoplanets in the Neighborhood Over the past decade, astronomers have discovered exoplanets orbiting distant stars using a simple formula. This involves keeping an eye on a star and waiting for it to suddenly dim. This dimming is an indication of a planet passing between the star and the telescope. Analyzing how the light changes as the star dims can reveal the chemical content of the planet's atmosphere. However, this method only works for planets whose orbits happen to take them between their host stars and the Earth. In a new paper, researchers turned this formula on its head and asked which nearby stars are properly aligned for their inhabitants to see Earth's transit in front of the Sun. Would any life forms in those star systems be able to detect signs of us, the living creatures on Earth's surface? The answer is yes, as it turns out, for a large number of nearby stars. If observers were out there looking, they might see signs of a biosphere in the atmosphere of our bright blue dot. Lisa Kaltnegger, an astronomer at Cornell University and lead author of the report, said in a statement, James Webb Space Telescope, a new glimmer of hope? As it turns out, planets are widespread throughout space. Researchers first confirmed finding a transit in front of a star in 1992. Since then, astronomers have discovered 4,292 confirmed planets beyond our solar system orbiting 3,185 stars. That's thanks largely to the Planet Chasing Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, scheduled for launch sometime this decade, should have the precision to study many of these planets in more detail and possibly detect gases such as methane or oxygen in their atmospheres that are likely signs of life. The Infrared Space Telescope is a joint project of space agencies NASA, ESA, and CSA, scheduled for launch on October 31, 2021. Poor planning and technical errors have delayed the mission thus far. Costs for the groundbreaking project, meanwhile, have been rising steadily. At one point, $3.5 billion had been budgeted. But in the meantime, the development has already swallowed up around $8 billion. All in all, NASA estimates the total cost at almost $10 billion. Do aliens possibly have a JWST themselves? What if aliens had their own JWST? Within 326 light years, according to researchers, there are 1,004 systems with vantage points to see the Earth. Of those, 508 have been viewing angles, 
that give them at least 10 hours of observational data every time Earth moves between that location and the Sun. Ideal conditions for spotting this small rocky planet and the signs of life in its atmosphere. Only a very small fraction of exoplanets happen to be aligned with our line of sight so we can see them as they transit. Lehigh University astrophysicist Joshua Pepper, co-author of the paper, said in a statement, But all of the thousands of stars we identified in our paper in the solar neighborhood could see our Earth transiting the Sun and attracting their attention. Star systems are too young. About 5% of the 1,004 stars are probably too young for intelligent life to have evolved, the researchers suggest, even if a planet with habitable conditions orbits them. However, the remaining 95% belong to stellar categories that could sustain life for billions of years. Experience on planet Earth suggests that intelligent life can evolve under the right conditions. Most of the stars on the list are at the other end of the 326 light-year range, since the zone where Earth's transit is visible gets smaller as you approach our solar system. But the nearest star on the list is only 28 light-years away, and there are several other stars nearby that are on their way to entering the zone where they could detect Earth within centuries. Some are bright enough in the sky to see from Earth. Two stars on the list have known exoplanets. A red dwarf star, only 12 light years from Earth, with known exoplanets, is known as Tea Garden Star. It's located in the constellation Aries, but it doesn't currently have the proper viewing angle to detect Earth. At its current rate of motion, it will enter the Earth's observation zone as early as 2044. The next step, researchers write, is to focus intelligent life-hunting operations on the 1,004 stars identified in their work. They specifically mention SETI's Breakthrough Listen program, which is designed to detect communications from advanced extraterrestrial civilizations. The acronym SETI stands for Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence and is dedicated to finding extraterrestrial signals. They search not only for radio signals, but also for laser signals. These breakthrough lists are financed by the Russian version of Silicon Valley. Have the aliens already wiped themselves out? Another theory plays on the idea that so far every, or just about every, alien civilization has maneuvered itself to its own demise. Even if life already existed on the planetary systems of the Milky Way, it could be that these civilizations actually died out long ago. But of course the question remains whether new species have not formed or whether some could have survived. What do aliens actually look like? Through science fiction movies, we all have our own idea of their supposed appearances. Often there is talk of peaceful and well-meaning aliens who only want to help mankind. Then again, there are horror scenarios of vicious alien monsters just waiting to invade this planet and wipe us all out. Small children often imagine little green men. High-ranking scientists are firmly convinced that we are not alone in the universe. However, they are less likely to believe that aliens are flying through space in saucer-shaped vessels and that they are in the form of little green men. Cam Wallowa, an alien observation post? One of the potential viewpoints for aliens is an asteroid called Kamawalawa. The 40 to 100 meter chunk of rock was first spotted on April 27, 2016 by the Pan Stars 1 telescope operated in Hawaii. Its smoothly sonorous Hawaiian name is a clue to its peculiar motion. The asteroid initially rushes ahead of the Earth a bit in its orbit around the Sun, but then it loses speed, flies behind it for a while, only to increase its speed again. It then once again overtakes our planet and so the process repeats itself. In 2022, a Chinese probe is supposed to explore possible spy outposts. This probe might be able to conveniently record humanity's behavior and evolution over long periods of time. One of the advantages is that this could be done from constantly changing perspectives. 
one can only remain curious about the revelations astronomers will surprise us with in the future. What could extraterrestrial life look like? What's also interesting is the question of what aliens might look like. Because for us Earthlings, the description of life is not so simple. Think how many forms of life there are just here on Earth. One example of defining life, living organisms must have the possibility of growth and reproduction. Other criteria are a well-functioning metabolism and the absorption of energy from the environment. It is conceivable that life on other planets comes into being with completely different chemical processes than with us humans. Thus, a life chemistry would be generally conceivable, with carbon as a central element instead of silicon. But all of this is nothing but speculation thus far. What do you think? Do aliens exist? And do they observe us humans from space? We look forward to your opinion in the comments.